Grand Canyon is one of the natural wonders of the world and the second most visited national park in the U.S. Any visit is enhanced by staying in the park, but hotel prices keep rising with the most popular rooms costing over $300 a night in high season. However, camping offers you the opportunity to save money by staying at a developed campground for as little as $6 a night. Regular reservations are $18 a night, and senior pass holders, those 62 and older, get a 50% discount. Campgrounds also have cooking facilities, which saves money on food as well. But money savings are not the only reason to camp. You'll be closer to nature, able to see the Milky Way at night and hear the birds sing in the morning. All of the campgrounds are government run. Only the Trailer Village RV Park is privately managed by Delaware North, the same people who operate Yavapai Lodge and the Grand Canyon Village Market in Delhi, which is located next to the campground and covered later in this video. The RV park offers full RV hookups and costs about $80 a night and can be booked online or by telephone. I don't have an RV and I've never stayed at the village, so I won't comment about that any further. Camping adventures can bring families closer together and sometimes the most challenging trips, like a surprise snowstorm, are the most memorable. This video is about developed campgrounds within Grand Canyon National Park. The first part of the video will be an overview of the options, and the second part will be a more detailed look at Mather Campground and its facilities. Mather is the largest campground in the park with 327 sites, and it's the only one on the rim open year round. Information and reservations for all Grand Canyon campgrounds can be found at recreation.gov. You will need to have a National Park Pass to get the senior or disabled 50% discount when you book those reservations. There are three campgrounds located below the rim at Grand Canyon, Havasupai Garden, Bright Angel Campground, and Cottonwood Campground. All require a four and a half to nine mile hike to access. Each campground has a ranger station, treated water, composting toilets, picnic tables, and a place to hang your packs out of the reach of squirrels and other wildlife. Interestingly, the pack hangers at Bright Angel Campground are the old telephone poles installed by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. To stay at the below rim campgrounds, you need a backcountry permit, which is available four months before a stay via a lottery system. Information is at recreation.gov. There are also some same day permits and cancellations available from the backcountry office at Grand Canyon. As of April 2024, there is a non-refundable $10 lottery or permit application fee and a $15 per person per night fee for staying below the rim. Stays are limited to two nights. Although I've done a number of rim to rim hikes, I go straight through to the other rim and I've never stayed at any of the below the rim campgrounds. I have, however, stayed at each of the RIM campgrounds, which is the next topic. There are three campgrounds located on the RIM in the park, North RIM, Desert View, and Mather. All the RIM campgrounds are booked through recreation.gov or by calling 877-444-6777. All have similar facilities, paved pull-through sites without RV hookups, picnic tables, fire rings with grills, 
treated water and restrooms with flush toilets and cold water sinks. Both Northrim and Mather have a general store and showers. Desert View does not. Both Northrim and Mather have a forested area. Desert View is more open, but it is the closest campground to Tanner Trail, Desert View Watchtower, and it's close to spectacular views of the Young Canyon. Desert View is generally open from April to October and closed in winter months. Reservations at all rim campgrounds can be made six months in advance. The sites at all three rim campgrounds are fixed in price at $18 a night, with senior and access pass holders getting a 50% discount. There is a $10 non-refundable cancellation fee. North Rim Campground is similar to Mather, but on a smaller scale. It's generally open from May 15th to October 16th and has 90 sites. There are no RV utilities, but it does have a dump station, as well as a small general store, a shower and laundry facility, and a gas station. Unlike the other two campgrounds, North Rim does have some walk-to tent sites available for $6 a night, which are rumored to be available on a walk-up basis, even when the campground is fully booked. Okay, that ends the overview, even though it was longer than I expected. Now to the second part of the video, Mather Campground, which is pretty much representative of all three Rim campgrounds, just on a grander scale. Mather Campground was opened in 1960 with 238 sites, and it's named after the first director of the National Park Service. It currently has 327 sites and is served by a very well-stocked general store, as well as a shower house and laundry. Mather Campground is about a mile from the rim, but is served by a free bus system that can take you to the historic village, Bright Angel Trail, as well as South Kaibab Trail. It's notable that only Pine Loop is a generator-free zone for those who camp in tents or desire a more quiet environment. So let's take a look at a campsite on Pine Loop, the generator-free zone for our site tour. There's a year-round treated water supply piped over from Roaring Springs on North Rim. The sites are paved, relatively level, and equipped with family-sized picnic tables. The fire circles are equipped with a metal grill, convenient for money-saving campsite cooked meals. You are required to bring your own firewood some is for sale at the laundry, but the supply was depleted on this visit. There are receptacles available for refuse. The bathrooms are equipped with cold running water and are very nicely maintained with sinks, soap, a hand dryer, and the expected accommodations. There is electricity available in the bathrooms, perhaps intended for a razor or hair dryer but most likely used for electronic charging nowadays. The laundry and shower house are surprisingly large. It was quiet on this March visit, but in high season, the multiple occupants of about 350 campsites, plus the trailer village and other guests might use the facility. I recall the showers being available, but far from deserted in high season. The showers cost $2.50, paid in quarters for a five-minute hot shower. They're neither as good nor as bad as one might expect, but after a hot summer hike, a shower would be welcome relief. I'm always sure to use some athlete's foot powder on my feet after a visit to the shower house. The general store is very well supplied and what you would expect from a store in a small town, which is what the Grand Canyon is. Prices are capped at list for the items sold, and supplies vary from pre-made foods, 
including pizza at the snack bar in front, to fresh fruit, canned supplies, and dry goods. They have a surprisingly wide selection of beer, wine, and alcohol if you're celebrating a successful rim-to-rim -rim hike. They also have camping and backpacking supplies in case you forgot your poles or if your hydration pack springs a leak. There's also plenty of curios and mementos. The same area has a sit-down restaurant as well as a post office and banking facilities. All in all, the guest at Mather Campground is well served by the available facilities. So that's it. We've done the campsite tour. So now the good and the bad. First, it's low cost, plus it's well maintained and patrolled. It has paved roads. There are flush toilets with treated water. There are cooking facilities. There's a well-stocked general store. It's got beer, as well as there are showers and a laundry. And you have lively and interesting neighbors. Now, the bad. People are coming and going at all hours of the night. There are paved roads with motor vehicle traffic feet away from your tent. Those lively neighbors may stay up late or leave early. Bugs, rodents, and animals, deer and elk walk through the site, are common. Mather is not on the rim, although a few North Rim sites are very close to the Transept Canyon. And finally, you must drive or take a bus to get to the popular corridor trails. That's it. Camping at Grand Canyon is a great option to get back to nature and spend a few inexpensive nights at Grand Canyon National Park. I hope you enjoy your visit to Grand Canyon and that the information in this video helps you to select the best campsite. Thank you for watching.